Hey guys, welcome back to Zack Attack Customs Editing Studio. I want to do a quick review on the Napier truck tent that I set up a few weeks back. I'll leave the full install in the description below if you want to check that out. I was able to go down to my grandparents' lake place. They only have a two bedroom, so now I have made it a three bedroom. So me and my wife and eventually my daughter probably stay right beside the lake. That's gonna be awesome. She's a little too young now, but I did want to take it down there, set it up, and stay at least one night in it. That way I could give you this review. Let's go ahead and first talk about the install. It takes about 26 minutes by yourself. Every once in a while, I'd have to ask my wife to hold one side while I pieced it together. But as far as taking it apart, it is a breeze. It takes less than 10 minutes. It took about eight, nine minutes, something like that. So as far as install, it's pretty easy. And as far as taking it apart, very easy. I really liked the way I was able to use my roll-up tonneau cover. I didn't have to take it off the truck. It actually acted as like a nice little shelf for me to put stuff on. And as far as a trifold, I don't think it's gonna work. You're probably gonna have to take that off if you want to use this tent. Let's go ahead and dive into the pros of this tent. So regular tents, I, I've stayed in them. They're just kind of boring. They're on the ground and it's just the regular old thing. This truck tent just looks really cool on the truck and it kind of just makes you want to go camping. Uh, it's really, really nice being off the ground. You can pretty much park anywhere you want to. Setting up a regular tent, you got to look for the perfect spot, make sure there's no stumps, all that. Your truck bed, it's always the same texture and as long as you park level, you're going to be level. So you don't have to worry about that. I really like all the windows on this tent. You can open them up. It gives you great ventilation. You've got a nice breeze that comes through. Other tents that are on the ground, yes, you do get pretty much all the same windows, but I feel like being elevated in the truck, it just seems like you get better of a breeze through there. So I did like that feature. Staying that one night, I was really happy to be elevated because I didn't have to really worry about stakes coming in the tent. So usually when you're on the ground right next to a lake, there's always that possibility and it's a lot less of a chance of one of those bad boys coming in your tent at night. Now as far as rain protection, I did not have any rain this trip, but Napier does give you that extra cover. If you're expecting any rain, you could throw that over. And I do like being up off the ground because I've stayed on the ground in a tent and water gets up under the tent. Uh, it's, it's not fun. You gotta pack it all up wet. This one, you don't have to worry about that because you're up in your truck bed. Not everything can be perfect. So let's go ahead and get to the cons. You are limited to the bed size. So if you've got an extended cab, you're in better shape. If you've got a crew cab like me, you're gonna have a little bit less space for your bedroom. Now, as far as having a lifted truck, it's a little bit harder to have to jump up into the tailgate. Now, Chevy gives you these nice steps that are imprinted into the bumper, but you're not able to use those with this truck tent. So that kind of stinks a little bit because I'm a short guy and I need all the help I can get as far as lifting up into the truck. Like I was saying about the truck bed that I have, you are limited to pretty much two people comfortably sleeping in that tent. Now, my daughter, she's small. As she gets older, I might try to fit her in there for a few years, but as she starts to get older and older, it's just not gonna work out. That pretty much wraps up the pros and cons of this tent. Where would you use this tent? Well, as far as I'm using it, I like using it at the lake. It's really cool having it right next to the lake. I, I like having my extra space and actually having my own space. So that's pretty cool. And as far as like taking it to a tailgate or something like that, you've had one too many, you might want to set it up in the parking lot, sleep it off, and then take off. So I have in mind taking this truck tent, possibly the night before a tournament, driving it down to the landing, staying there, and then wake up and fish. So that would be pretty cool because I'm definitely not the most morning person in the world. It'd be nice to not have to get up super early and make that drive. All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up. I really do like that truck tent. It was really nice sleeping in it, hearing the sounds of nature right beside the lake. I'm definitely gonna have to get me a mattress. I just threw some comforters down there in the bed of the truck. 
slept in it and enjoyed it. So I appreciate y'all watching this. I hope this review helps you out in picking out your truck tent. Until next time, see y'all. All right, I'm gonna only say this one time. You're fixing a fall in the lake if you don't get off of that dock. One time. Did you not see the video of the dock? It's holding up by a thread. Yes, and I've told you that. And I told your dad, I said, if you don't put caution tape, Zach will get on it. No, I'm not recording.